Adept is a suite of electronic features that apply powertrain controls to dynamically adapt to road power requirements, all while maximizing fuel economy. Load-based speed control is a feature designed to improve fuel economy, lower vehicle noise, and improve operator satisfaction. It does this by managing engine speed based on operating conditions. Load-based speed control promotes more efficient operation by limiting engine RPMs when power requirements are low. When power requirements are high, load-based speed control provides an extended operating range. The net result can be improved fuel economy and a more satisfying driving experience for you. There are plenty of benefits to load-based speed control, such as fuel efficiency, longer engine life, and lower engine noise. Load-based speed control helps drivers operate more efficiently in every gear but the top two. Under certain conditions, the Cummins Engine Control Module limits engine RPM to encourage you to shift up. To know when to limit RPM, the ECM takes into account the weight of the load, which it is constantly calculating. The ECM also takes into account road speed, how hard the engine is working, pedal position, and the gear ratio. So, say you're on a flat road, and your gross combined weight is under 100,000 pounds. You've just pulled out of a rest area and are accelerating to cruising speed. When the ECM senses that you're going as fast in a particular gear as you need to go, it limits the RPM in every gear but the top two. So if you've got the pedal down all the way and the truck won't go any faster, that tells you that it's time to shift into the next higher gear. For those drivers already shifting at low RPMs and taking advantage of the excellent power and torque that these new engines provide, load-based speed control will not be a problem whatsoever. But for those aggressive drivers who still like to run the RPMs up in between shifts, we'll notice that these engines tend to max out at around 1550 RPM and limit their ability to get into the high RPM range of the engine. So low base speed control is an electronic driving coach. It helps you shift at lower RPM when your trailer is lightly loaded. Load base speed control helps drivers improve fuel economy. Under normal driving conditions, load base speed control limits the engine speed in the lower gears to encourage you to upshift. But in situations where you really need the extra engine speed, load-based speed control won't limit you. It doesn't limit engine speed in the top two gears or during gear changes. It also doesn't limit engine speed when your GCW is over 100,000 pounds or on grades over 2% or in certain other situations where the ECM knows you might need a few more RPMs. Jason, just curious, what's different for an operator? Well, for those operators who are already shifting at lower RPMs and taking advantage of the low speed power of these newer engines, load-based speed control really won't be an issue. But the drivers who still feel they need to run the RPMs up to make that next gear shift, typically what they'll feel is that the engine will start to get very quiet around 1550 RPM. That's an indication that they've got to go to the next gear to keep their acceleration on up to road speed. So how does load-based speed control then help you personally? It's just a gentle reminder that it's time to get into the next gear to continue my acceleration. In addition, as you're ascending a steep grade or if you're heavily laden, load-based speed control will give you those additional RPMs to get into the next gear in a timely manner. So knowing how load-based speed control operates helps the driver work with the function instead of against it. While load-based speed control was designed with fuel economy in mind, it's also designed to give you the performance you need when you need it. Is this statement true or false? Load-based speed control limits engine RPM only under certain driving conditions. The statement is true. 
Load based speed control limits engine RPM only under certain conditions and helps improve fuel economy. Here's another question. Load based speed control applies to which gears in a 10 speed transmission? The answer is load based speed control applies to all gears but the top two. So in a 10 speed transmission, it applies to gears one through eight. Here's the last question. You're headed up a 2.5% grade on a freeway. Will load-based speed control limit your engine RPM in the lower gears? The answer is no. Load-based speed control will not limit your engine RPM on grades over 2%. So don't worry about not having performance when you need it.